Hey dear Tyler, good morning. And how are you doing? I hope you're good. I hope you're fine. Happy New Week. Second week of the new year. Really thank God for it. And it's been good. It's been fine. How have the resolutions been coming? How have the plans been coming along? I really hope it's been good. I hope you've been making a whole lot of progress. That's my prayer. Uh before for me last week was was a, was a nice one uh dear tyler wise right so dear tyler we had a lot of wins last week a lot of wins we had quite a number of uh listens which is really really good yeah i love seeing the <laughs> amount of people listening to the episodes and i'm sure the last episode on plans really really went well with a lot of guys so thank you so much to everyone that took out time to listen and to share then we also got new listenership right so um, last week dear tyler broke into iraq yes it was iraq so dear tyler was listened to in iraq which is super super amazing i enjoyed it a lot that's what i meant to say i'm happy sha that's the main thing i'm extremely excited about it and then we started like a new content so one of the things that we're trying to do in dear tyler is to make um various content available as much as possible so we've got certain posts on monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday is like a break period then sunday so on sunday we now have what we call sunday sermon right and it's just an opportunity to share a verse of scripture and you know insight that I've gleaned from that verse of scripture just within like a minute or so or less than a minute and posted it on Instagram and TikTok and it's doing pretty well I really did enjoy the whole process and all it was really really fun and really cool so um for those of us that are not on Instagram or following dear tyler rather on Instagram or TikTok please check out for dear tyler there and that where we'll be getting all of those updated um videos and all. all right so thank you so much for all your support so far thank you for being available thank you for being there thank you for your encouragement consistently it means it means so so much right uh so getting into today's topic uh, it's it's a very uh, how I put it I'll just be very plain about it. I don't know how long this episode is going to be but I'm targeting that it to be among the shortest that um we've had in a while. Um today's topic is nothing is happening. Uh, this past week I realized something very very peculiar about myself. Um uh, there are a lot of things about me that are are quite honorable a lot of things about me that are quite good i know where god has helped me and how he has helped me in doing certain things but boy one thing that i think or that i have come to realize that is eating me is impatience now impatience in the sense of waiting for process I realized it this week like there were so many things I there was a certain thing I was meant to do had it been I had waited for just a few more days and it would have been a totally different story but impatience really got to me and I ended up just making a mess out of quite a lot of things So apparently when I took out time to you know reminisce and think about a lot of things that I've written out now this is like a continuation of the whole resolution and planning thing because there were some things I had hoped would work a lot faster than they did and so I was just you know thinking about it, reminiscing or rather reflecting on it and you know God just told me that you know your impatience gets to you and i'm like uh, 
then you know he started bringing up different examples of certain things that if I had either waited or stayed within the process things would have been a lot different I met I've not met the person yet but then I was introduced to somebody very right, recently um I'm hosting a songwriting class very soon um songwriting training for like 3 weeks very very soon and one of the um uh, people that you know found out about my songwriting ability reached out to me and we started talking and she's she's done the podcasting for a while she's into quite a lot of other things and I was able to glean from her insight you know one thing i'm grateful for is that god keeps on sending the right people towards me right uh and somehow somehow i'm not saying that she has it all figured out but she she had an understanding that i probably lacked and you know it brought me to the scripture that follow those who through faith and patience obtain the promise there are certain things that time would reveal to you Right. and because she had spent more time within that circle she was able to offer enough insight for me to make the best decisions and everything right so from my conversations with her and then my conversations with God I realized that okay this impatience thing is a big deal generally when we look at our lives as human beings within this time this era this technological era right this whole internet era make uh, living in a fast world right makes it look like things don't undergo process again because a lot of things happen quickly you know at time now in our world it makes it look like there's no process that happens behind it what has happened is that a lot of people have found all these people that have created such devices have just found a way of speeding process so because of the speed at which we get results right it makes it look like process was annihilated like process was removed uh i studied information technology so computer geek computer freak i love anything tech and I'm a, I'm a bit aware of the processes you get of how information gets from one place to the other. If you're on WhatsApp now you just, you know, type if the person's online just say hello and then it's like almost instantly. But there are a lot of things that happen from decoding the message, from transforming electrical signal into sound waves, I mean light waves or microwaves or all of that, digitizing it um all of the radio waves from different cell towers all of these things happen but because it's just so quick it makes it look like it's almost instant living in this fast world right makes us forget that things happen in a process and in reality some things will just take much more time than others right some things will take much more time we've got instant noodles and then we got beans and then we got pomo right so there's this stuff that we eat in africa nigeria particularly it's um it's the skin of animals right what as i heard that they use it to make you but we found a way of making it a meal and it's pretty nice and some of it can be extremely extremely tough that it takes a lot of time to prepare right so you could do instant noodles or ramen as it's called like 10 15 minutes depending on how classy you want it to be and then for beans it's going to take a little bit more time and then all of those other meats take a lot more time that you would have to find either different means of tenderizing it to hasten the process but the process still stays different things take different times and we have to be very very conscious of it i was reflecting on like i said some of the things i'd written down and i was expecting certain results and because it didn't happen frustration wanted to set in frustration really wanted to set in and i was like oh lord come on like 
how far now with all of this? And you know, that's when he brought to me the revelation of my impatience. And that's what birthed this episode. Whatever you rush, you will kill. Whatever you rush, you will end up killing. There is, it's like you plant a seed and because you are so adamant on getting results and you have not said anything, you end up digging up the seed. You've actually started the process of killing that seed. Anything you rush, anything you rush, Tyler, right? You kill. Anything you rush, you just end up killing. If you are trying to rush certain seasons in your life, you only end up wrecking them at the end of the day. If you do not allow time and process to have its full course, you only end up killing that dream or that thing. Now, because you don't physically see change doesn't mean something isn't happening. Right? Now, take note what I said, the emphasis. Because you don't physically see change, it doesn't mean something isn't happening. A lot is happening that you don't see. Take, for instance, you know that seed. When you plant a seed in soil, it takes time for it to germinate. But within that whole period, because of the soil, it's covered up. The whole processes, you get, you're not seeing it because of the soil covering it up. But it doesn't mean something isn't happening. In fact, the fact that it's decaying is a process which shows that change is happening. It may not be the change that you're looking for, but then change is actually happening. Or change is occurring. Now, um, back in primary school, one of the experiments that we did in primary school back then while in Holland was that I really enjoyed was observing the life cycle of an insect, right, um, a butterfly. So one of my classmates, he had a, it was actually a moth. A moth is like a species of butterfly, I believe. And he, he actually had this um, caterpillar. And so he brought it to school, you know, and so um, we put it in like a glass cage, covered it, put some holes for, um, for air and everything, and then put some leaves, you know, just feeding it consistently. And every day we noticed that, um, okay, every day we were called to make observations and some days will be like no observation some days no observation but then after a long period of time we find out okay that it had um i think the, the process is called molting where it's changing skin removing skin so it was like oh it was color green or it was color this or it was color this it was color this before and it's changing 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 it's getting bigger it's getting bigger but it wasn't every day that we had something to write about physically so it was maybe after like a week or two that we now noticed something we could see like the shed skin at one side and we'll see now fresh skin at the other then it got to the point where it created a what they call a pauper right it covered itself in some in some excretions like that and for weeks nothing happened for weeks, nothing happened. He eventually took it back home, I know. And then, after some weeks, he now came back and told us that it opened up the popper, and it came out as a very big moth and flew away. Now, within that period that it was hibernating, we couldn't observe anything. There was nothing physically that we could see that could prove that change was happening. But internally, something was changing. Now, we could have wanted to rush the process by tearing 
the puppet I created. And if we had done that, we would have killed whatever um, transformation that was happening, right? The animal would have died. And that's what, you know, rushing does to a lot of our dreams and a lot of our endeavors, where we just get so caught up in in wanting to see instant results that we rush certain seasons and then we end up killing killing things. Everything must undergo process. Everything must undergo process. Everything must undergo process. If you leave me now, I want to be extremely wealthy by tomorrow. I want to have almost all that I need. Do you understand? I want I want to wake up tomorrow and see that dear Tyler is listened to by like a hundred thousand people let's say like monthly or we have millions of listeners monthly you get and so sometimes i won't like it can be really heart wrenching when you come over and be like okay today only four listens like there are literally days that nobody listens to dear tyler with all the content with all the posting do you understand with all the i, I advertise it like like mad, like crazy, do you get sharing it with people, listen to Dear Tyler, come up with captions, come up with as many things. Yeah, and then I have the Instagram page, you know. Maybe after like two weeks you get one follower and then maybe two unfollows eventually. I won't let that it's frustrating sometimes. I won't let that it's frustrating. Oh, but I'm seeing the change. When I take stock of things over time, then I now appreciate consistency. It is consistency in doing things that really matters. That little thing, remember one of the things I said that even if it's just 1% change, if you add it and it compounds, by the end of the year, you'd have become 365% better. It's the consistency in those little things. It may look like nothing is happening, but something is happening. Every day that you wake up, you show up to that dream, you show up to that purpose, you show up to that plan, you do what you said that you're going to do, you engage all of those principles that you said you're going to engage, you carry out that task, you do that job, you do that assignment, you read that book, something is happening. Something is happening. It may be small, it may be... It may be little, it may seem insignificant, but something is happening. Now, if you were, you know, I always love using this example of putting a bucket under a tap and then just let it, you know, let it just trickle down in drops. Every drop changes something. Our eyes are not built to see those minute changes. But boy, something is changing. Something is changing. And so, that's why after a long period of time, those little drops begin to reflect what is happening over time. Those little drops reflect what's happening over time. Something is changing. Never be deceived that nothing is happening. Just just know that your eyes can't see it yet. But over time, you would see it and you would know. You would see it and you would know. There's this stuff that I do. I usually go to... um, To maybe famous people. You know, I check their social media pages, especially on, like, Instagram now. I could just go to, like, their reels. And because at least reels give you access to some of their analytics. So I could go over to their reels and go to their very first reel. And I could see maybe they had, like, 2,000 views. Now, that 2,000 views is probably because now they are famous. 
right and people followed them and then i could go to the end right to the latest reel and then i'll now find out that they have maybe like 300,000 400,000 a million plus views but one of the things i've noticed is that there was a steady growth steady increase but consistency in always showing up consistency in always showing up It's consistency in the little things that make great things eventually tie up. Now the Bible says, um, I think it was God that was making a promise to Noah after the flood. He said that as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest will never cease. But there's nothing called harvest time. What you do in between your seed time and harvest determines the harvest time. You are not entitled to a harvest time if you do not allow process have its cause. So planting is not the issue. It's what you do in between that planting and then your desired harvest. If I plant a mango, and I do not nurture the mango, and I do not do the things consistently consistently to make the mango grow, harvest will never come. Harvest is not guaranteed until process is given its full course. And process takes time. You have to allow it to take time. Now, God gives us the advantage, speed, at certain times, you know, that's the advantage that we have as believers. So something that should have taken years to do because of the advantage of the Holy Spirit that we do now have, we can now experience maybe, you know, speed and some things happen quicker. But process, process, process must have its full cause. And so I'm learning to tell myself that you may be studying Binga, you know, reading. One of these days you'll stand before millions of people sharing God's word, revealing the love of God, helping people through mental crisis, helping people, you know, believe in themselves. One day it's going to happen. But understand that every day you pick up a book to read, every day you sit down to develop content for Dear Tyler, every time you pick up your guitar to rehearse, every time you write a song, you are gradually building up to that moment. You are now on the journey to the harvest. Every day you don't show up, you kill the process. Every day, you don't work on yourself or you don't build on yourself. You kill the process. And you would eventually have to revive that seed that you sowed. Every day that you show up, you're closer than when you once started. Every day that you show up, you're closer than you were yesterday. So it's very important that you show up. So this podcast is really out to encourage you, Tyler. It may look like nothing is happening, but trust me, something is happening. Revisit those goals. Revisit the resolution. Revisit the plan. Revisit it, Tyler. And see what you have, what you need to be on, what you need to be consistent in. And Go back and just be consistent. Block your ears from the naysayers. Block your ears from people that will be laughing. I'll be like, ah, for how many years? This is your dear Tylati or something. I'm using it just as an example. When will it happen? Man, honestly, my conversations with the lady, I've mentioned her name. Her name is Fome. It really, it was really mind-blowing. It helped me to see things 
in a different light. And I'm just using this opportunity to say thank you for me because it was getting tough. But God helped me through you to to recalibrate my mind and my thought patterns. So thank you so much. And I'm using that same thing that she did and I'm sharing it together, sharing it with Tyler. Don't skip the process. Allow it to have its full course. But when the time you sprout up comes and the time you've gained enough stability and everything that you need to, when your fruits begin to blossom, begin to come, break forth, nothing can stop you again. So always tell yourself, I may not see anything happening, but something is happening. Is that okay, Tyler? So, I really hope that this episode blessed you, right? Can we just take our time to pray? Father, thank you for the gift of time. Thank you for the gift of seasons. Thank you for the gift of process. As your kids, we can be a handful. And many times, Lord, we just want to rush things. And in the process of rushing things, we end up killing them or making them worse. But thank you, Lord, because you are a God that restores and you're the God that grants speed. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will grant us the patience to endure the process. Your word says, for the joy that was set before him, he endured the cross. There is a cross moment for each and every one of us. But for every step that Jesus took to Golgotha that day, he was one step closer to our salvation. So Lord, we know every step that we take in process is one more step closer to our breakthrough and our breaking forth. So grant us the grace, Father, to stay and be patient and to trust you that you would duly reward us in time. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we've prayed. Amen. So I said that this was going to be the shortest and oh boy, I have done it again. So please just pardon me. (laughs) Just pardon me. But I really hope that this episode blessed you. I really, really do hope that it blessed you. So um, please, you know, like, share, share with your friends, family members, you know, and join us on our social media handles. We're on Facebook, Instagram, we're on TikTok, we're also on YouTube, but for the YouTube one, we're chilling. Small, you get, but just you know share this message with everyone as much as it's blessing you so thank you so much tyler for today um this is me signing out so remember that i love you i believe in you and i'm always rooting for you bye